All right, final match of the day. Let's go. It's yeah, buddy versus Pondegard. Uh, look, I'm hoping for it to be a good one. I expect it to be so. Pondegard's always putting up a good fight, at least when they are grouped together. Like they're really strong in, in, in team fighting. Mm, definitely. Let's see if we're gonna see a lot of jab cav spams in this one. Mm -hmm. uh, we're definitely seeing a lot of malls there on kebab side. Let's see, let's see. Seeing quite a few monks on defender side as well, and mm. attacker side actually, it's actually. quite long. I do see a longbow on both sides. Yeah, actually two longbows on the defenders right now. Mm. Four muskets, alright that's three muskets now. I'm seeing, ah oh, no, okay, it's, it's double purple gold now, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, so again, no. just going with that okay. out trading. Um, yeah. The attackers also do have heater on longbow as well, so that's going to have that pressure at mm. the start, so to counter their longbows potentially. Um, but yeah, not as much cav as I was expecting, but there oh, are quite a, bit a few less, right? guards in the attack. Looks like they have like one good infantry rotation, then quick swap to cav. Definitely, definitely use ours on Yabby, that's, that's true for sure. The defenders don't have a massive amount of cav, so it'd be interesting mm. to see where they're planning to defend. Yep. And having longbows out from the start of the game, if they're trying to do something with that. Maybe they're actually going to try and hold uh, towers, because then they do have two jabs out from the start. Um, and one of the longbows could be potentially to snipe units pushing the towers. Mm -hmm. and we'll see, we'll see. Alright. That didn't look like a lot of one A, so is there a lot of them spawning on the fort here? Or? Yeah, tons of them actually. And also bring the good units. They're bringing shield made as a crescent monk. Look at this. It's a really strong unit here. Well, maybe they're going to try and do a B hold. Because again, they're not really holding the ladders at the front. They're just going to get mm -hmm. there now. Yeah, they're going to use some Sirs to hold the ladders. They're going to try and use the Hoaxes to kill the bridge, but I think it's too late. Because again, they're not holding both sets of ladders. Yep. So if you want to try and do this defense, you have to have people on every single ladder. Otherwise, yeah, Setter gonna is going to run right now. He's going to go down. Alright, he's out. But not Hanzo main, he's going down on the pike there. Uh, we can see also uh, Pondegard actually climbing, like, or uh, yeah, really climbing on the, on the walls as well. They're yeah, getting up because there's so few heroes from Pondegard there. I think as soon as they saw all those units on B, they were like, we can climb A here. Kill mm -hmm. some siege, allow exactly. us to get the, the siege control more easily. Yeah, it looks like Pondegard does want to take down a breach with the uh, watch challenge that they do have. Yes, they are trying to take down that bridge. They are holding them for a bit, but can they keep this up? Because if mm. the attackers, you can see them on the cannons down at the bottom, they can actually shoot the hoatches from there. Um, they're aiming at the wrong one at the moment, because they can't, I don't think they can shoot the left hoatcher, they can definitely shoot the one on the right. Yep. There's two malls from Yabudi going inside the uh, the city right now, or the fort, as you'd say. They're going to look for those longbows, I think. All right, they killed the one hoatcher, so they can't kill that bridge anymore. Nope, it's going down. Are they going to try and hold them at the top here? All they've got is jabs and monks there. I think they're just going to run. Yeah, all of the shield maintenance are gone. They're going back to the back. I'm following the longbows because the looks like Pongar is not watching those longbows and the shield maintenance here are sitting on the supply and all the way in the back. So they, these are getting killed. Super and losing his longbows for free there. Yeah, yeah, it's two moles out there killing all these longbows. Yeah, that's booming and Winkrow there. And Amex team also picking up Peepo. So good start from your buddy, and they're they're continuing to fight on this supply, getting the yeah, crescent I mean, monks now as well. Supply, they're yeah, they're units out. They're killing units for free. They do have monks there now, which can be hard for them to deal with. Um, and there's so many heroes there. I don't think they're gonna be living much longer. Right. Yeah, there we go. That's it. But have they lost too much? Again, it reminds me of the last game where they tried to do some kind of hold on the fort, didn't pull it off, and lost a lot of units mm. because of it, and lost a lot of position. But they have wasted time doing it. But if they lose too many units. Yeah, exactly. But how much time? Like, there's still, the yeah, still 30 minutes left. Longbow's gone. Some of Crescent mm -hmm. Monks as well. So they do have a second set of longbows, so they can use that for whatever mm -hmm. role they were planning to use them for. But losing that whole unit there is going to potentially punish them in the long run. All right, let's see. Very curious to see what. Unit set up, yeah, but he's going to ring. The breach is still standing. Yeah. Yeah. 
And they are trying to take down the breach uh, on the Abbey side, so that will go down eventually. Yeah, well, again, they t they can't be now. They've got the bridge still up, so if they need to go that side with range, they can go the long way across the bridge. So yeah, taking the breach down makes sense. Uh, we do see the Alchemist in sitting inside the gate. Pongard have been playing with those units for uh, for quite a long time uh, since season zero they, against you guys, yeah, right? Yeah, they love the smoke yeah. bombs on there. Um, you can see they used them really well against us on one of the one of the games that they held us on uh, on the final because mm -hmm. um, they had those smoke grenades slowing, blocking, and then yeah. Um, being able to get those heals off as well can yeah, have a absolutely. massive impact on games. Yep. Because it, other teams have used them, but again, it's just leadership-wise. Is it worth having that blue unit in there? Does that then ruin your leadership? Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. You know, we can see uh, Haid, uh, Xiang Nu, uh, and Isonetic uh, shooting down on whatever sloop down there with the Muscats and the, and the Longbow and Sexy Kebab just protecting them with the Glaive. Probably not getting too much, but just picking. Annoying though. Yes, yeah, so just going leadership wise, so Jet Lee that's playing the healer, so he's playing Hussars, monks, healers, mm. and then double surfs. So yep. that's where we're talking about where it kind of ruins your leadership a bit. Is yeah, that exactly. comp effective enough and, and does it warrant having those mm -hmm. healers? Depends how much use he gets out of them, I guess. Exactly. At the moment it should be quite good, but the amount of poke from those muskets, he can heal up a lot of this stuff in the game. Yep. <clears throat> Right, so Pontecar hiding really well, but once the gate is going down, which is going down in a second, then they will be spotted there. No punish. You can see a few of Yeah Buddy are up on B side, so there's a 40 in their shield main up there. Mm -hmm. See what they do with that. Yeah, the super bone going up back. there as well to make sure they know what's going on. They are still working on the breach as well. A lot of monks in the attacker setup right now. Yep. Oh, five, six monks they've got out right now. So they are going to be very weak to Cav. If, if the defenders can kill the 240s or 340s that they've mm -hmm. got, they could potentially get a good clear with Cav. Yep. Attackers are now bringing their longbows out, so they're going to start doing a bit of poke with that, it looks like. I imagine they're going to go to the far side of the wall. So the they can shoot in the back of them. But we'll the see. far left one, you mean? Yeah, yeah over by yeah. the uh, resupply. Because yeah. okay. if you go up on top of the tower there, you can shoot into the back of all of these 40s down in the game. We can see very few if none specialist on Pondegard there. It's, it's only the Alchemist and then the Archer that we saw before. Yeah, yeah, well with, that's the thing with the four specialists being banned. Mm -hmm. They haven't got those other longbows out yet, so maybe they're saving them for later. But, but again, I do feel like, yeah, buddy, are wasting a lot of time here. They're not really doing anything. They're just kind of running back to forging the wall. So they, they're going to have to go in a minute because you can see they grouped up. Yep. Um, are they waiting for, I think it's Bird, to go to kill the Breach? Are they waiting for that? Looks like it. I do think so, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the longbow is just not effective right now with all the exotics gone. I mean, Especially... it'll still be useful if they can get in position to start shooting these forces. Oh, yeah. And they you. don't yeah, really yeah, have absolutely. any cab to charge to anyway, so it's kind of pointless. So, like you said, it just doesn't seem like it's going to accomplish much, but we'll see. They are starting to pull the trigger on C now, and if they if the defenders Ooh. try and push too yeah, aggressive in. Haita is going to get down. Yeah, yeah. Haita going down and Superbone getting away. That was a nice pickup there from yeah. uh, Superbone. So what the defenders need to be careful with now is if they try and push up those stairs onto B, they mm -hmm. can get trapped. Yeah. So they need to not rotate too aggressively into that. And where they're holding now mm -hmm. is fine. That trap, not hitting anything there. Yeah, so this blob, uh, like like you said, the, the blob from Yabiri there is just cornered. Of course, Pondegard can get trapped really easily if they go there. Yeah, they're just going to keep pressuring it and they don't mm -hmm. want to push up into it. It's just a bit of a bait at the moment. Um, I'm I'm questioning why yeah buddy would kill the breach and have guys trapped over there but yeah. I guess they still have the bridge so they can get out if they need to but it's just a long way to rotate mm -hmm. yeah, if those so, if those guys do have to go back down then suddenly they're wasting like two minutes of time yeah if Pond guard force a fight on the other side of the map can mm -hmm. yeah buddy punish them from that front side yeah. when they're so far away so we'll see what happens but I feel like yeah buddy are out of position here you can see they've now moved the longbows into the position I was talking about. If they move them a little bit higher, they can shoot directly into the back of all of those units on the gate. Mm -hmm. And there's not really much they have to counter it, apart from, well, the muskets. So if they had Jav Cab, they could counter it, because they have enough range to throw up onto the wall, but they don't have any out right now, so... Again, this is... For me, it looks like Pongard are getting a bit restless. They want to try and push and do something, but they don't need to. They're just sat here, just gaining time. Like, that. Yep. yeah, buddy, are wasting so much time yeah, on these by now, yeah, but you only have got like two good pushes instead of three. Uh, preemptive trap, they're going to try and bait, bait into it. Yeah. 
think it was a little bit too preemptive. Yeah, so I mean, not going to read too much into this, but this does make you wonder if the mix of kebabs and plebs still is finding their synergy, just communicating well and knowing what they want to do. Because this does look like an awkward position to be in right now, but they're going. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be too cocky, but having the lack of someone that can sit there and go, let's push, <laughs> it does seem like they had that there. They were running back and forwards doing nothing for like yep. two, three minutes. Alright, trap missing though, but both fights exploding right now. It looks like Pondgrad is stronger yeah, on, the, on the breach for sure. I think they'll lose the sea fight here just because of the amount of monks there, but actually, no, with the cab coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, so exactly. The force, you can see with the hero who's aggroing the 40s the other way, so you can get Really good, yep. Yeah. And then the, yeah, the, yeah, and, and the Alchemist smoke are going in as well, so. Yeah, but they already lost the millions too much yeah. before that started. Supply is blocked. If they can kill this hero and get units out, they can potentially yeah. win it. They yeah, Buddy is definitely winning the breach there right now. Yeah, unit trade wise as well, they traded so much better there. Yeah. Also on the heroes, six heroes down from Pondgard, so yeah, Buddy just outclassing them in the fight right here. Mm. Very clean rotation to the supply. Uh, pretty sure they will get it as well. It's three heroes that are not oh, four heroes that are not able to get it. The arrows from uh, Pongard could do something, but they're wasting too much time here. They're going to mm -hmm. pick by heroes now. It, it feels like Pongard's kind of baiting with their cav. You have yep. the cav on sea waiting too long before running in. You've got these liaos now that are doing mm -hmm. nothing and just suiciding. If they are able to come in with a lot of cav right now, maybe they can get it. But it's already two for units for the Bracho. There are four yeah, buddy at the supply. So I, if they once they're in position, like this, it's, it's done. They could potentially do something here, but it's just too Ooh, it's long. Not, it, it's too late. The Fort Watcher are there right now on the supply. These uh, Dagrags are not going to do anything. They're just, gonna be, they're just suiciding units in there. Maybe if they clear the heroes, they can potentially do something, but they're just suiciding two units of Dagrags in. They didn't, uh, I mean, they barely even reached the 40s because the mm -hmm. heroes stopped them. Yep. Definitely so a big really loss on the on the proper units like right now. Heroes for just blocking the supply for a little bit more and losing all of those units. Mm -hmm. Not worth it. And you can just see from the unit-wise, they're basically 150 units down on tier 4s. Otherwise, yeah. it's even tier 5. Yeah, exactly. And also at the top of the screen, like 200 units in the gap right now. That's that's pretty big, looking what it yeah. was at the start. I mean, 70 of them are serfs for the attackers. But yeah, even mm -hmm. then, still 130 unit difference, which is all in tier 4s. Yeah. If they get some good cav charges, maybe they can do it. But after they just suicided three units of cavs in, I mm -hmm. struggle to believe they'll get it done. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, let's look at the units now. They do have a few hussars out, so they've got... A couple of Madaos, they've got a couple of Hussars, Monastics, so they mm -hmm. could get some good charges here. But the attackers have so much anti cav they basically have 140 on every single player yeah. right now that's left. Absolutely, and also remember uh, we only saw like infantry push from uh, Kabbalt right now, so what they have left now is uh, like a really good unit of... Uh, you can see it right now, the Liaos, the, the Zars, they, they yeah. got all of, all of those and then and the then infantry. Also, yeah, buddy, have so many 40s left as well, just the ones yeah. they have out, but also almost every single player has a unit of 40s mm -hmm. left. So it's going to be so hard to get some cav clearing yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah, but he seems to have a very clear idea about the meta. It's like Fortoraccio, and then the monks, and then Kev. Yeah, definitely. And this is something that um, did with my team as well. I just said, look, one Cav, one anti Cav for everyone, and then mm -hmm. your third unit can be a bit of a mix. But on this map specifically, because it's so open, you need so much anti Cav. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to have it. And because they, they, they won that first push so cleanly, they didn't lose a lot of their anti Cav there either. So they've got no. so much left. I mean, look at this. They've got, what, four? Yeah, but they're going. They're five, really aggressive uh, right now. Anti Cav there. And watch this Hussars trying to flank. Two Hussars trying to flank around the side. At the moment, Pongard are watching it, but they've already lost the front fight. So are they going to be able to get into a good position? They've got the Longbows at the back, but those Longbows are completely undefended, so they're going to get wiped by the Cav now. <laughs> Where's the Ooh, here comes these Zar charts. Oh, that's a clean wipe. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Ooh, counter charge here by Pongard. I'm not sure if they are getting in time there. so much chance to have there. Ooh, those Fort Departure weren't braced though, but the ones at the back are. Yeah, exactly. They've just got so many 40s there, you just brace mm -hmm. up and nothing can push into you. Yeah, they can just move up one by one. Yeah, New if they had the Zars coming. at one point, maybe they could have poked up, but being down the back there, you saw them, they just got picked up. Yeah, but still, good to Zar charge there. The Camel's going to brace on the point, Modal as well for Pondgard, Dagorax Lens is coming in as well. I just think the unit difference is just too far gone now. It it's is it's a good bit. attempt by them, but just the unit yeah, yeah, that completely decided that. Uh, so they had only cav left, and the attackers only had anti cav mm -hmm. basically. Yep. Uh, with a few really good back charges as well. Yeah. So. Bloomguard's still gonna keep going though, but they are getting the cav out. They are, they are getting the heroes on the point. I mean, it still needs like 20 seconds to capture, but still. Yeah, buddy, with yeah, 14 with heroes on the field, like, they're not losing any heroes, yeah. Yeah. And they're also blocking the supply. C4 not going to go anywhere with these uh, top sergeants. Yeah, I mean, they got a few hero picks there, but again, there's just. Too much on the point. Yeah. 
Right, point is clear. Now it's still two units of 40s, unit of camels, they've got impikes there. No it's a lane, but there's no way they can turn this back. Absolutely. Really, really clean fight by everybody. After a slow start, they had a really, really clear idea about what they wanted yeah, to do. Very slow start, but once they pushed, they pushed well. Mm -hmm. And they knew what they were doing. It's just that initial first fight they were just seemed unsure about. This was one of the fastest, uh, like smoothest tra translations from getting the C point, getting the supply, and then going to the final and just getting it. Really yeah. impressive stuff from Yabu here. Yeah, and I feel they got a little bit baited with the longbows as well, because mm -hmm. obviously either side was playing a jab cap, so both sides kind of got baited by it, but it yep. was there, potentially caused some damage. Yeah, um, just looking at the, the scores here now, so we've got Zhao with the 112 unit kills MVP for Yeah Buddy, um, Manu coming up with the 6 hero kills, you know, some good stuff going there, a lot of good unit scores there. And the more important thing, look at the hero deaths. Not very many hero deaths. Absolutely. I mean, when you look at the hero deaths overall, it's 15 deaths to 35. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the difference was massive. You could see it every single fight. Like, there was five or six guys down from Pond Guard and only one or two on the uh, Kebab side. Or on Yabody's side. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. But then looking at uh, that Pond Guard side, so Superbone, 109 unit kills, MVP, you know, mm -hmm. pretty decent showing there. He had some good little plays. Um, but again, just not many hero kills. Three hero kills at the maximum yep. team with IPOP, um, should have scavved. Um, and then just a few hero kills smattered here and there. So yeah. that's just the big difference really Absolutely. was those hero kills. Yeah. And, and again, the unit kills. Yeah. When you look at the bottom half of their board, all less than 30 unit kills, and that adds up. Mm -hmm. um, but Absolutely. overall, I would say not, not a bad showing from uh, Pongard. They did have oh, a couple yeah. of good trades. Absolutely. Um, I, I was about to say, I felt like Pongard was definitely in the right places. Just that mm. uh, Yabuddy yeah, executed better on the fight. You could see almost every single fight that they took, Yabuddy yeah, would win, even if they were outnumbered. Uh, but Pondok are definitely in the right places yeah. uh, on the map, generally. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely wasn't like a stomp. So they, mm. they showed, they're good showing. I'd say they look stronger than they have done in the previous seasons. Um, but yeah, just still just couldn't compete with Yeah Buddy. As soon as those fights started, Yeah Buddy just outclassed them and just pushed through and wiped. Yep. All right, so that means that we are going to go to the last game of today. Uh, Pondok is going to attack Yeah Buddy this time. Let's see if they can bring out something new. Surprise, uh, Yeah Buddy. Um, I want to see 15 longbows. I see. would love to see that, yeah. I, I definitely want to know if uh, the Lulang guys, and I'm not going to say the name because it's way too long, they wanted to play 15 longbow. It, it might actually seem like a real meta pick right now, so who knows what, it what works. Team was that, sorry? Which one? Wh which team are we talking about? I'll send the name to you and you can pronounce it. <laughs> it's not It's not that difficult, to be fair. I just need to see it in front of me to be able to say it. All right, all right. then I'll, I'll definitely send to it to you and I'll, be, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a shot for sure. Alright, hang on, just one sec. Planfair pull Gwyngil go Gerich win Drobil Slantsilio go go go. Alright, clip that, take it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Credits to you. No, I, I saw a few teams that wanted to do it, and to be honest, like, it sounds troll, but you, if you play around it properly, some cheese strats can work. I'm yeah. not saying 15 long rows will necessarily work, um, but there are uh, certain scenarios that could have advantages for playing, like, mass range and things like that. Um, but again, it depends on the map. This map, it could could potentially catch teams off guard and you could get a decent setup on C stairs to just punish everything that can't be countered. Um, but yeah, enemy teams mm -hmm. will push into you or if they have Falcons or something, so yeah. Yep. Um, I find it unlikely it's going to happen. Absolutely. I really like, by the way, how like with, with all these specialists gone here, you can see that these two teams, uh, generally I think these two teams just don't like, generally don't really like playing the specialists because it's, they, these two teams just want to like ram into each other with like the yeah, full infantry and the calf and just go right yeah. it was a similar thing with plebs obviously that's a big core of yeah buddies we would always ban the specialists because it just makes the game boring mm -hmm. you know it's just one specialist can sit there and wipe like 200 unit kills by itself yeah. basically so it just it makes the game less skill based yeah you still have to have a skill to get in the right position but yeah, mm -hmm. it makes it more skill based you have more fun fights and more yeah, exactly. long fights it's not just oh yeah. falco's fired wiped 100 units mm -hmm. fights over yeah. it's it's back more back and forth exactly. and it adds more skill to the game yeah. And you also don't have, don't have these moments where it's like, oh yeah, damn, now these, these two or three units of exotics are getting caught out and now I can do anything in the fight because I just don't have them. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Alright, alright. Interesting to see what yeah, buddy do on the defense. Absolutely will be, yeah. Alright, you can get up in the lobby as well if I haven't missed you. Yeah, I just forgot what the code was, so it's really important joining in there. Uh, Alright, one more season. I'm on defender side now. Yeah, so I'm curious to see if the longbows will be removed from the match because it definitely felt like the longbows just didn't fit the playstyle of these two teams. 
in in terms of what units but, are on again, the map right I now. I think they were taking it to counter jab cav. At least I, mm. I feel like that's what Yeah Buddy's thoughts were. Yep. Um, and then obviously defender didn't play. I don't think a single jab cav. Exactly. Will Yeah Buddy play jab cav now and still Pond God will take them and counter it? Still it remains to be seen. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say the fact that they didn't take any last round, they're probably not going to take it this round. Mm -hmm. Seems very curious. I mean, maybe if they can play like a, what can they, what can they do? Can they, can they do Jeff Cap double cap, double gold? Um, if it's cheap gold, yeah. Then so maybe like right, yeah. If you've got seven ninety five, yeah, you can do. But again, I mean, it just dilutes your pool so much. Yeah, exactly. It <clears throat> but it just depends what they're playing. Like I say, they can play like uh, monastics, um, shield maidens, and jab cap, for example, mm -hmm. um, as a setup, which could then work. Yeah. But again, then you're stuck on um, Shield Maidens or, or something like that, which are decent unit by themselves, but are very mm. weak to Cav, which is yeah, played actually. on this map a lot. Yeah. But again, if we, if we take a look at the meta right now that, that we're seeing, so it's Fortebraccio, the, the Monks, um, backed up by something else. Um, those two units are really slow, so Outriders can definitely punish, punish that setup. Definitely, definitely. Um, you saw it was very shield light. There wasn't that many shields in there, so the jab cap can be very punishing for that, especially if it's a lot of 40s camels, like you say. Mm -hmm. Jab cap is very strong into that. Exactly. All right, looks well, like we're almost getting ready. I'm just gonna. Supply, so. Yeah. All right, so Yabudi and Pongor are getting ready. Pongor already setting up in the lobby, so waiting for a few players from Yabudi, leading the score right now, one to zero. <clears throat> I expect a yeah buddy win mm -hmm. after that last performance, but we could get yeah, proven wrong, and it depends how they're going to defend as well. Will yeah. they try doing some kind of cheesy wall defense? They could even potentially sally. I find it unlikely that they'll sally because mm -hmm. historically those players don't like sallying because it's kind of BM. Um, <laughs> they might sally sort of towards the end of the game when the game's kind of over already, but yeah, yeah exactly. not many teams like sallying out from the start. Mm -hmm. I think Plebs only did it once on Sun City because I yeah, you did. yeah because you had no I, idea how to defend it you said yeah <laughs> yeah I just I hate that map with a passion that and Orgolia are my two least favorite maps although Orgolia is mm -hmm. not bad now that they've made the changes the resupplies and things but yeah, that's, it's, it's, it's still an awful map yeah. in my opinion um, but Sun City I just hate so I was like just Sally get it over and done with because mm -hmm. um, I don't want to play it um, so then that was what was that season 0 or season 1 of Rivals I think we did that um, but yeah most most people especially the top teams don't want the Sally because it doesn't show anything and it's just kind of very coin flippy and mm -hmm. it's very BM. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Alright, waiting for one more. <clears throat> just looking if there's any team changes this time. I don't think Lazy Imperator was in the first game, was he? So he's now being brought yeah, definitely. buddy. I also didn't notice Dunkel, but maybe that's just because I missed No, him. I don't think he was in there either, so it looks like they're doing a bit of a swap. Because, like I said, there was like 18 of them in the call. Yeah, team. yeah. Definitely. So I think they're just swapping some people in between yeah. the rounds. Also, Bird yeah. not there, so yeah, definitely swapping players. Yeah. Oh, we're still waiting for Bird, so he, he will be joining us uh, soon. <laughs> <laughs> Swap's already, isn't it? Yeah. Swap, not um, confirmed. Yeah, so it looks like they've been a bit, you know, balancing it out, swapping a few people here and there. Most likely it's because they had two people signing up. So we had that issue with Plebs a few times, especially during like the finals and the last rounds of CBL. Mm -hmm. It was like, you'd have every single person sign up. How do you yeah. decide who plays? Um, in that, it's a bit easier because you have like a long. Um, game format, so you have like five or seven games. So you yeah, know, exactly. People want choose. to take a break, maybe at, a, at some point. Yeah, some people might want to take a break. Some might not be able to get there straight at the start, so you can mm -hmm. be a bit more fair with it. But yeah, what, we even had it today, um, setting up for our game with NSFW, and it was like, who do we actually pick and who don't we pick? Mm -hmm. Like, I feel bad trying to kick you out because I don't know most of these people. We haven't scrimmed, obviously, because that's the kind of point of the team. Um, so how do I decide who doesn't play? So at the end, I just went, look, is there anyone that doesn't want to play? Two of them feeling a bit unwell, they decide to step out, so it made it easier. But that can cause issues on teams. You know, how do you pick who plays when you have more than 15 signups? Because realistically, everyone in the team has earned their spot to be there, especially with Plebs as an example. Everybody there was good enough to be in the main 15. There wasn't like a main 15 and then subs that we just couldn't do that, it was unfair. People won't stay in a team if they're a sub, right? Um, so we tried to make it as fair as possible. And just there were some people that would kind of have to be in every game because you know people like the Manu, for example, because he's on flames, he's very good with that. Um, people with certain Cav players as well, people with those certain roles. Um, Amia, for example, as well, would never be subbed out just because he has a very important job as a dual blade to always cause chaos in the enemy's back lines, and was the, the cause of a lot of our wins. But it's so difficult to decide who plays in some of these teams, and some teams can have issues with that. You can lose players because of it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Alright, looks like we've got everybody in now. So. Uh, yeah, we're ready to go. 
Are you ready? Let's do All this. Alright. Last game of the day is round one match for Pondegard versus. Yeah, buddy. Pondegard's going to attack this one. Uh, we got all the Exodus out of the way, basically. Uh, so it's going to be a clash of infantry and calf here. Let's find out. Alright. Looks like. Hardly any changes to the to the hero setup, although a few less malls this time, I think. A couple more pull axes. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Obviously, we still got the longbow for heat, so it looks like Wolf Warfu's changed out longbow, because I didn't see them playing it last time as a hero. I could be wrong there. Um, but yeah, a lot of muskets there oh. for the attackers, for the Pongard. Four Absolutely. muskets. Yeah, I'm expecting more Warfu on the longbow for sure. Uh, he's, 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 he's been playing those even last season, so probably excited to pick those up. Yeah, definitely. It looks like they're still playing two units of longbows again. Yeah, that's right. Raid is in there as an interesting pick for Superboom. Yep, yeah, very much the same setup on uh, on Yabody's side. Yeah, Pongard is pulling out more cav this time though. They've yeah. got a lot more hussars it seems, so they're going to mm -hmm. try and play more around that. Um, cool. but with those muskets, I think they're going to be expecting a, a front hold. So they're going to try and mm -hmm. abuse a lot of the musket poke there. Can they get that well enough? Um, mm -hmm. There are some jabs for Bird on the defenders. Um, also, a couple of claymores on uh, on Yabody's side. That's something yeah, that are an underrated unit. Yeah, absolutely. Like, Most teams um, are skipping that unit well when it gives so much uh, like bonus stats, right? Yeah, it's it's all I. Me personally, I always am a fan of having at least one per push mm -hmm. because, especially on a map like this, which is where you'll see Zhao on there, almost guaranteed you'll have Cav as a second unit. I didn't see before it loaded in, um, because what he can do is you charge the the claymores in. They're buffing the front line. You don't need to be there to micromanage them. All you got to do is press three and two. You can be running back to the resupply already, grabbing a no. second unit and coming back and charging in again. So you're basically playing two units for the same cost as one, and you can control them from miles away. The buff that they then apply to the front line is just insane. Mm -hmm. Their DPS as well is really good. Oh, yeah. For a long time, back when Reapers were broken, Claymores were one of the only counters to them which not a lot of people knew about because the mm -hmm. damage that Claymores had on their two ability could kill Reapers. Yeah, absolutely. Same with Claymores against Shield Maidens, Claymore against Star Wars. Yeah. Like if, if you play them well, you can really do really do well with, yeah. uh, with the Claymores. And then just the downside is obviously after they've had their burst on three, they're then absolute garbage. So yep. you try and run them out. So you can't have a long fight with them. You have a short yeah, little yeah. burst trade and run back again. Yeah. And that's where you just want to, like you said, go for the second rotation. Just get them in, get them out. Or not even get exactly. them out. Just or, just, or just leave them. them. Suicide unit and, yeah. and grab that second unit. You know, so they have that function there as well. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, nothing on the small fork this time for Yabuddy. So they got a clear idea about uh, holding around the A point. Yeah, they're folded back right away. Which, again, personally, I don't like that. You can waste so much time doing it, but we've mm. seen how many teams failed at doing that today, whether they tried to do it and just got punished for it. So yeah. maybe they saw that from what enemies had done and thought, we're not going to risk it. Definitely. <clears throat> maybe it's also, yeah, yeah buddy, buddy being confident that, that, of course, they can win the fights. Yeah, could definitely be that as well. Right, so let's check out how the arty fight is going to go, because that's going to be very easy to follow right now. Breezy's already losing four of his Imperial Shields. We're pushing the tower. Small wins there. Well, exactly. That's where it's punishing. And that's where the leadership management comes in. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people will just have three units. They don't take serfs in there, which is different for CBL. Because with CBL, you can be a lot more selective. No. And you don't have leadership to play with. A lot of the time, you will have some spare 30, 40 leaderships. You can put the serfs in to push towers. Mm -hmm. so losing these few uh, Imp Shields now can be massive impact later on in the game. Ooh, right. Uh... Surprise backup here on War Farfu. Mm. Longbow v Longbow. Yeah, killed them at the gate. This thing, Longbow has a lot of damage now. You mm. can one shot heroes, um, light armor heroes with, with Longbow if you uh, plan the combo correctly. And if they had the musket there um, as well, which they do, so they've got a couple of muskets for defender's side um, with Synetic, and I can't see who the other one is with Xiao. So if they combo together through their ultis at the same time or, or what have you, or just shot, they can easily one shot light armors like that, as you saw. And War Farfu probably wasn't expecting that. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, B point being kept here with Superbone. He was the MVP on uh, Pond Guard in the last game. He's probably looking to get another one for his team. Hopefully, okay. picking up the wind in this one. Those cap points make a difference. Absolutely. <laughs> Alright, Pond Guard going to move up the wall. They are 
probably confident they can just take the A point. You can see them going yeah. up with with Phyllis Watchman and whatnot. So can they get any picks here? Though I don't think so because they're most there. Mm -hmm. uh, melee here is further yeah. back. Breach already down, so they're like B point captured. Let's get it. We're going through the breach. We're going through the gate. We're going from top of the wall. It mm. does look like some of yeah, buddy, are literally AFK. Though there's two malls just sat completely still this whole time mm -mm. at the bottom of the stairs on here. <laughs> are they AFK? Are they alive? Right, one's moving now. The other one is just standing. There. That's where you spawn as well. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Just standing there for a very long time. Just chilling. Maybe he's just pressing tab, pressing Z, checking where everyone is going. Yeah, bird of kin just sat there with his jabs. Uh, right, getting trapped, just... actually, almost. Right. Just dodging it. Nice one. Some of his units just teleported. Out. That was weird, but he's back in the game now. So All right. that's good. Okay, good. So, Pond Guard getting the A point. They already got the B point. Breach is down. All towers hit. Gate down as well. So, they are set up. They made it quick. Yeah, so this is a smart thing from Yeah Buddy now. They're stacking in the gate because they know that the attackers don't mm -hmm. have any specialists. So, they can't punish them in that gate setup. Exactly. They're playing aggressive in there. They're hiding from the muskets. They're hiding from the longbow. They can't punish them when they're in there. And there's nothing that can counter them, really. They can maybe get some jabs for the attackers. I, didn't see, I don't think they had any, though. I guess mm. they could take out their longbows now, which they've got coming up. If they put those in the gate to start punching, but they're not going to do much when the shields there. Yep, absolutely. And I, it is kind of surprising now to see that the the breach is already down so soon, maybe because perhaps Pondguard could have used the breach a bit longer to make yeah, but if think twice about where they were going to attack. Or... Yeah, they could have got the longbows up on the top potentially to poke them as well mm. and harass them down. Um, could have got a lot of punishment there. You can see the position they've got the longbows now. This was talking yep. about last round. So from that position, they can shoot down into that gate setup. Exactly. Um, but you, you can already see the units going back to the gate, making sure yep. that's not going to happen. Exactly. Now they're all going to stack in there. If they were thinking ahead, they can use. There's two siege in front of the gate they can use. You can see them just further back. I believe they're both hoatches, but you can actually shoot into yep. the gate with them. So they could potentially punish with that. Would definitely be a nice strat to use. But otherwise, I think we're going to be sitting here for five minutes while they decide what to do. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we just might have. We'll see, we'll see. They got 11 minutes on their hands, so plenty of time. We saw <laughs> yeah, buddy waiting five minutes for sure, but uh, let's see what they do. Uh, a couple of heroes of Pondgar sitting outside the gate, just throwing those bombs with the muskets. But again, there's a long sword in there, so. You can see yeah, buddy's long. Long. on B side as well, so you see we've got Peter up on there with a longbow trying to get a position to snipe some of their specialist units here. Mm -hmm. I'm imagining their longbows, maybe trying to punish some of the heroes there to back them off. So he's getting a bit of pressure from up there, but what, how much can he do from that far away? Yep. Yeah, we can see Ferraris go, there he has, for the Watcher going back, also Sexy Bob covering them with the shield man. So there's definitely some herd being put on the units, unless yeah, buddy is just switching out and they want a different setup. No, they're definitely doing uh, a lot of uh, harassment there. Mm -hmm. You can see that from the units they've got left. Yeah. We're actually seeing a surprising amount of uh, modal on the Bond Guard side. Uh, small hero fight outside, by the way. The muskets being pushed there gently. Yeah, I think they're trying to get some muskets to poke through the gate, but without the units there, you can be aggressive and push back mm -hmm. in. But they are, they're not really losing many units doing this, but they are harassing a lot of the units in this gate here. Yep. You can see there's one musket, there's one longbow that's just standing over that gate the whole time, throwing two, and then the other muskets are in the gate then throwing things in. That's so they are being very punishing. Yep. Yeah. So at what point do Pondguard believe that it, it is the right time to go in? Having lowered certain units, what is it yeah, that they're I looking mean, for? My thought on this, I mean, you can see that they're killing a few units, right? The unit total's going down. It's only by about five in the last three minutes. Um, so for me personally, I just find this is a waste. If there's no specialist, what are you killing here? Maybe one or two forties? That's not going to happen. Ooh, they're trying to bait yeah. the heroes here with the longbows. They're just trying to get the heroes, I think. They can punish this, would be good. But yeah, yeah absolutely. Sexy kebab going down. Ooh, nice. Another one. Maybe even this, well. this might be it. Yeah, this might be it. It's pretty good. If they can punish this now and push straight away. But it looks like they're going back up the wall. Mm. No, 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 they're going the other way. Breach, they've, yeah, they've realized the breach is free. They can, they can get in there, they can yeah, go down. Yeah. Yep. They need to be ready to trap the cab that's going to come in from spawn, because I feel like those two guys that died will probably yeah. respawn with cab and come back. There might be a little bit of chaos now, so I'm curious to see if their buddy will actually cover the gate, because right now it's not covered. The users from SKW, for example, might go through the gate and just get in there. Yeah, they've got a 40 kind of looking at it, so I think there is a mall there that's paying attention mm -hmm. to it now. Um, but yeah, it's not the best cover there. 
But again, they're, they're not properly committing. They've got two heroes. Yep. They've got the longbows with the shield mains over on the wall. They could risk losing this. But at the same time, they're wiping this. And those 40 yeah, are right now. Those tiles could get a good wipe here. That was a really good position there, but now they, are they going to get flanked by these stars? They've got 40s Ooh. there, are they braced? Yeah, they got them. And the longbow still, 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 still sitting in that position. Yeah, but he's not confident enough to get those longbows. No, those longbows just shooting in the back. They're rushing supply now. They can't yep. do this. They haven't had it blocked. They, if they, they wiped here, is a risk. Maybe they've got good enough here, but what they could have done is just had a small reset there and pushed again because they mm -hmm. took a really good trade there. Now they risk throwing that back. So many who's are sitting on that supply. Zero anti cav here, and then I will run into these stars. Let's see what he can do here now. They just have to body block it. Mask is going to come in as well. Yeah, just so many heroes dying. They are capping the point, which is good. But you can see they massively have extended into mass cav, mm -hmm. and their 40s are only getting to the fight yeah. now. Finally, two units of 40 are, have arrived now, but most of their uh, monks are already down. Not doing too bad, as long as these 40s brace in time for these... No, at least 40 not braced. They do have camels tucked around the corner, but I, they're not really doing enough. And now they're losing on point as well. Yeah. So they had a massive, massive Ooh. win there, and then threw it all away. Absolutely, only four alive now for point guard. The longbow's already getting called out. Superbow not having any left, high damage, sure of that. Mm. Oh man, that's it. Really again, because to be fair, yeah, buddy used a lot of their cav there. And they lost yeah, quite a bit of it as well. Um, so I'm pretty sure almost all Huzars were down there. Mm -hmm. But they had what, like a 200 unit lead from that first push, and then threw it all away. Yep. And again, that just comes down to sometimes the experience of the shot caller. You yeah, know, exactly. they don't have pie in there to, yeah. to control them. Yeah, you so. win one fight, you think, yeah, let's push, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. no one blocked that supply yeah. early enough. And Absolutely. because that was the first fight, the defenders have a really quick respawn. Yeah, but let's, so focus, on, have, let's focus on the reset right now, because yeah, but he's a bit slow, I think, on getting the new setup there. Pond guard not sure about whether they want to go in as well. Yeah, if they push in and take the space here, they could do something, but mm -hmm. there's still three guys haven't respawned yet. That's why I think they're waiting. Yeah. All right, so we're back 15 to 15 now. Everyone is back in yeah, place. Coming with the units, there's a lot of monks, the defenders now, so the cav from the attackers could be very punishing here. Mm -hmm. um, when you look at it, the defenders don't have a... Like, they don't have a huge amount of cav left. They, they used a lot of Hussars and Monastics on that last fight. They still got a fair few left, but... They used at least five or six golden units there on that last push. Alright, they were baiting the gate there. Units are still fairly even, though, over, across the board. Mm -hmm. The only advantage is, yeah, buddy has, like, 50 tier 3s. That's the only advantage, really, otherwise it's pretty even. So this next fight will be the decider. And again, if they waste too much time, will they be able to push it enough? Mm -hmm. They should have enough time to push two times within these the six minutes. There is a lot of cav from the attackers. Mm -hmm. And there's only three anti-cav for the defenders. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six cav for the attackers. They are looking to go swap now, so maybe some of that cav's going to change to melee. Yeah, exactly. But if they'd taken that fight there, if they just killed those 240s, basically, they could have then wiped with cav. Yeah. There's also one oh, Modal and one, one Hop Sergeant, I'm leaving them, yeah. Mm. But I just don't really do enough, though, to be honest with you. Um, Halberds are good, but if they win the melee fight enough, they're not going to stop Hussars. Oh, yeah. The Halberds will stop, Monast uh, will stop most Cav, but not Monastics and not yeah, Hussars. So, yeah. Alright, so Warfarfu is having the Longbow once again on the wall, so... The second set of Longbows out now for Pongard. Yeah, if they get the setup here, they've got some good poke there. But then, mm. at the same time, Heater is countering that, I think, at the moment. Yep. So, um, Yeah, but he have like six units over on the supply, so Pongo could take an aggressive push here and win this first fight. Yeah, I think I think they oh, might. They're going down. Chill. Yeah, they're going. Yeah, but he's starting to move now. It can Pongo punish it. You can see, yeah, but he's flanking with two heroes up on the wall. Yep, they're going to try and flank behind to clear that wall set. Oh, it's going to be four or five heroes, actually. Yep. Yeah, quite a few. Had Pongo spotted that. Oh yeah, but you are baiting them in, absolutely baiting them in right now. Alright, they're going to start pushing down now. They did see it in time, so they've moved down, which is good. But is this enough? Those shield mains flanking now, is this cab going to punish? Mm -hmm. Their cab outside is still standing and watching. They need to get in there. Yeah. First cab from Yabody yeah, caught by the Fortabaccio. Fortabaccio are now going to move to the front as well, but Yabody's yeah, going in the flank. These Hussars on the breach need to come through, they can wipe all of this. Come on, Hussars, move, 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 move. They need to go now, here they go. Yeah, Ponga needs to just ignore the front, turn around Absolutely. and wipe his backside yeah. and then push again. Ooh, Big massive charge. charge. Big charge. Big charge. But the front line is pretty much lost, I think, for Pondgar. So the question is if they still have enough left in the front line. Still really even on units, but again, defenders have the supply advantage. They're going to come back. Can Pondgar hold and just farm them enough here to be able to push through? 
I do still have these two sets of uh, Fortuwatcho, so any cap that's going to come in from before will be charge off Kura in a second, they can be able to try and shoot it. And don't forget, the defenders have a unit of 40 on the gate doing nothing right now. Another decent charge of the Hussars going through. They've got camels for the defenders now as well. They can sit here and farm for the next minute. They might be able to do something, but it's whether they can hold this long enough. Yep. Because they're losing a lot of their heroes now. Yep. These monks are proving devastating on that fight there. This fight lasted two and a half minutes right now. If it takes another half minute, then they can still make another good, really good fight. They're attackers, but there are 40s brace there. Can they brute force through this with these camels as well? This could be a huge Hussar charge here. All the, all the forces facing the other direction. Oh. Good Hussar charge. Oh, I've come from the gate as well now. This could be very. This could be. This could be it. This is a really good reinforcement this, this, from this uh, guard. From the resupply can mm -hmm. change this. Oh, they're backing off. They're, they're, they're scared. Yeah, buddy, retreat from that resupply. If they come out with this, cab, they could have done something. Have they got enough pressure and control to hold this point now? They have three sets of camels. If they just brace these on point with the 40s, they could potentially take this. Yep, absolutely. Unit wise is looking pretty good from the moment as well. Just brace these camels. Don't even yep. press them on two. Just brace them on the point. Stop any cab coming in. Let's go. They've done just that for the watch. Also, cap brace in as well. They're capping this point, getting the extra time. Ooh, trying to Can they wipe these heroes now? Yeah. Dudoto, though, he's. Yeah. The big thing now. Here come the Zars uh, from Dudoto, the though. There are Hussars, and there's Monastics coming for attack now as well. C4 got a brace of the watch out real quick. Many heroes already. Now they're just losing too many heroes. They didn't brace the camels on the point, so that cab just charged through and wiped. Yeah. They had some monks that cleared the camels. Yeah. The Dotos, I uh, went to Zars though, they, I don't think they have charged, so they cannot do anything else anymore. But the hero is on point for yeah, the buffs. Just, yeah, but he's still sitting strong. The hero for the attackers is the problem. Yeah. It's, it's only a second on C though. Can they charge through? Yeah. More Hussars coming for the attackers. Those 40s are still holding for a while. But can these Hussars punish now? They are charging into their own shred, which yeah. is not ideal. Bond guard 8 heroes down. Their, re their response need to come in really fast now. Yeah, I just think they're losing too many heroes now. Mm -hmm. They charged a bit too aggressively on the sea. If they'd gone more as a team and just braced on the point, maybe they'd done something. I think they had the camels in two, which is a mistake people make on this. If they just braced them on the point, they would have probably held all of that. Um, because they had them on two, trying to run through and mm -hmm. kill stuff, they end up yep. losing the, the front line. Absolutely. So what we've got coming in right now, it's Jet Li on the Usars. We got the RT having a couple. Uh, too nice still with these monks. I saw unit for the Russia. Should have got two units of for the Russia. So they, they do two, still have. They do have like, a unit of setup. Yeah. They, still, so they, if they can, they need like one second on that point. They could mm -hmm. potentially still take this, but they need to go fast. Like, look at that. Two forties, monks, two hussars. Defenders have one, Same. two forties, yeah. three forties, four forties. So these monks are going to be key here. Yeah, if these right. monks can get in and disrupt the forties enough, they could potentially win this. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really, really close. There's still so many traps left, though. Like they gotta pump them out, pump them out so fast. They just need to be constantly trapping, especially on resupply yeah. side. But there's so many 40s for defenders now. Can the attackers actually push in on this? They do have an impact. One now. minute. They need to not get yeah. too scared and push in and get picked here. They First two's are wasted by Pongard, though. They need to not lose heroes on the front here. Half their team's still spawning into the front gate. They got a lot of cav here, but can they do anything about these 40s on point? If this cab goes in now from the back, they might be able to wipe this in. This could be a huge Assar charge here. But it's not bad, it's not bad. They got through a lot of it. Can they do this now? Can they farm these heroes? It's looking good at the moment. There's no cav coming for the defenders. 20 Can seconds. This is gonna be, I think the, I think the attackers have got Ooh, this. This might be it, yeah. Good Imperial Pike advance right here. Come to these heroes now. Can they kill these heroes? They're they gonna just need to keep them off. Come on, 10 seconds. They need to just Eight, kill everything. Come on, come seven, on, come on, come on. Ooh, five, Eight, four. Yeah, they get it, they get it. Oh my, God, oh my goodness. Oh, Zero so heroes cool. alive right now for you, yeah, buddy. Look, Pot card, they're going for it. They're gonna take it. They're gonna beat you, yeah, buddy. Oh my I goodness. Anybody saw this coming. What an upset already in the first round. Last game of the day. This is absolutely insane. Nothing from you, yeah, buddy. No one's going to be respawning well, anytime soon. They could have done different is they braced on the point before they started pushing, so they tripped and lost like 140 there. Mm -hmm. If they just gone maybe pushed a bit more aggressively and held them in the gates, they didn't have time, or you know, if there could be something different, I don't yeah. know. It's so difficult to say. Yeah. But I don't think there's anything they can do now. This is it. This is it. G. G. Oh my god. Amazing. All the guards are back. Wow. What an end to the day. 
Hanzo Amazing. main coming in top again, seven hero kills, 104 unit kills. Really good play there. Uh, you've got Tunis for six hero kills. Yeah. You've got Should Scav for six uh, hero kills. Just look at the amount of assists as well on the, on the, on yeah, the side of Bonnegard. Look, it... I mean, just look at Should Scav. Yeah. Six hero kills, 17 assists. Absolutely insane uh, performance. Four, four, three, 16 assists. And Sledge mm. 15 assists. And this is the strength I was talking about. When they push, they push as a team. Yep. Um, so they did so much there. But then at the same time, look at the defenders. Lazy Imperator, nine hero kills. Such a good showing from him today. Yeah. Um, Dudoto, seven hero kills. You know, really good plays there. Um, but overall, unit kills just weren't as good. You can see towards the end, mm -hmm. they just lost that last unit fight. Yeah. That last fight on point got them. Absolutely. It was uh, so close yeah. because the fight before that, you could still see the same that we saw in the first game where, yeah, but he was just winning the hero. I mean, point guard, t 10 heroes down at that C fight. But yeah, just in the end, really, really close. Insanely close. So close in what two seconds? Yeah, Could they absolutely. have maybe jumped him one by one rather than all being on the mm -hmm, point? Would that mm -hmm. have been enough? It's so difficult to say. Absolutely. I mean, if you if you yeah, just miss it by by a heartbeat, then it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Were they? I, I need. I'm going to watch it back now on the stream because there's a minute left. Oh yeah. And it's like, just looking at it now, they sat there. They were braced into a, a treb. They lost a few units there. Did they jump on their horses on the base point then to tank more damage? Because obviously your horse gets hit first before you. Would that have been enough if they were on their horses? I'm just watching it back now on the replay. It was such a close fight. Mm -hmm. And especially with how it started, it didn't look good. You know, like you said, Pongard suicided in of, of um, Hassars on the side. Yep. Completely suicided. I think the next trap is probably what decided the one I'm watching now with 45 seconds left to go. <clears throat> Clicking that hits a whole unit of 40s. Yeah, they lose almost a whole unit of 40s there to that trap, plus some of their Hassars. And some of their jabs as well. That was a huge trap on the side there. And then it's just this brawl all in. And this is why it's so so fun to play this game and to watch it when there's no specialist units like that brawl on the end how close that was this game would have been nothing like that if there were specialists on each side but it's just an all-out brawl with a few cab charging through on the base point it's just incredible to watch absolutely i got it on the stream right now as well last 10 seconds like just look at the amount of hers you can see Again, look at the defenders though they're not getting on their horses their mm -hmm. horses could tank more damage here if they'd done that would it have been enough three seconds left Absolutely nuts. Yeah, but he's going to be very disappointed with that. Very disappointed with that. Yep. The fact that he was with three seconds left. Um, but yeah.